Did. Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 first round match between Misspelled Tree and her Underworld and Juhanian and his Norse. In the booth with me is Skuro Metzo, the man, the myth, the legend. Hello. Uh, hello everyone, glad to be back. Season 50, Jesus Christ, what have we all done with our lives? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah, we've watched a lot of, we've watched a lot of mediocre Blood Bowl, that's what we've done with our lives. <laughs> I am in no way, shape, or form Irish. <laughs> We've been through this. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm a proxy Irish on Kalon's behalf. <laughs> he roll clicks Irish. Oh, wow. It was just funny because he wanted to do this rant, but I was like, I'm going to agree with you. I'm the one American in Boston that agrees with you here. <laughs> so I'm not the person to yell at, dude. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, uh, toy, look to toy, to <laughs> there, there's, that's my that's my that's my Kalon. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, right, so Tree has Underworld here, pretty decent team. A uh, couple of claw pommers, um, which is nice, isn't it? One's got horns and jugs, the other one's got tackles, so they're both a bit different and both a bit good. Um, and then like blodge carriers uh, with throwers. And Jahanian has just got pretty much a starting Norse team. He's got he had loads of miss next games. So he's about a thousand TV. He's got two bribes. So he's gonna try and foul a lot. And a babe and and wizard. Surprised he didn't go for like Cheney or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have gone Cheney over two bribes and a babe for sure. Eh. For sure. I would what's have gone tree Cheney. what's tree's bench like? It's gotta be probably pretty significant right yeah three i guess yeah. the, i guess the point is bribes mean that really puts off the foul right the pylon right and that now you can foul the pylons with impunity and i guess if you go cheney cheney might just get claw pumped and cast so i guess that's what it i guess that's what his thinking was right just cheney would just get cast out instantly but i would have still and they, also there's a juggernaut there's a juggernaut uh Horns Juggernaut, who would then, you know, with Block, who would just annihilate Cheney, so. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Ducky's just. just said it as I realised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I thought all mass holes were Irish. <laughs> 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 mass holes not far. And... Not far off. Not far off. Mass Holes we, is a the, great fucking name, holy shit. Well, the south, the south shore of Boston, where most of the beaches, you know, on the fucking ice-cold North Atlantic are, <laughs> is called the Irish Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true, Dr. the Dog. Yeah, this, is, this isn't that easy. Like, the problem is, like, his team is so bad, right? This would be a lot worse if there was an extra 200 TV for Jahanian. Like, it's... He, like, he's, he's so much TV down that, like, you know, it's it's still a really good matchup, I think. And three. ultimately, good coach with a wizard can always make things happen. Like, it's all you true, have to yeah. do is get to overtime and win the toss. But, like, and and not lose all your team, which is the, probably the hardest thing for him is to not lose his team. Yeah. <laughs> Like, his just team's so bad. Like, he's already lost it, hasn't he? Yeah. Like he's got no good yeah. players already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's turn one and he's out of yeah. good players. <laughs> Which is why I think I would have gone for Cheney, even if he can get brutally countered by this claw pommer. Yep. Um, he just has no good players on his team at all. Yeah, it's 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 a hideously poor team, but I, I mean I can see that I can see the logic of of the bribes and the dirty player and trying you know try and discourage the pawns and maybe foul them you know some yeah because there's not many good players on the un, on the underworld is there? There's really only these. There's only really like two good players and the two ball carriers I guess. So there's like four good players, so if you can Tree foul could... those out, Tree could split his team easily here, but is that trap space? That's the question, isn't it? It could be trap space. She, uh, she, not gonna. What does a good Norse player look like? It's a, it's a good question. Something, something. Uh, <laughs> just more skills, right? Like killer. Cheney. Yeah, Cheney. <laughs> Berser Berserker killers and uh, a second elf with like, you know, skills. 
just skills on Ulf's, Ulf's runners and berserkers, and there's no runner at all on the team, is there? I don't think there's a single runner. So yeah, skills on runners, skills on berserkers, and skills on Ulf's. Chris Hemsworth. This guy's gonna just remove a player a turn, isn't he? Oh, he didn't follow it up. Yeah, didn't follow it up. doesn't want to file. Doesn't yeah. want to pile because yeah. of the. the yeah. I'm going to run behind the berserker because of the dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the bribes are doing a job. To be fair, the bribes are like. Yep. Doing a job. Probably thirty percent less piling on, if not even more. Yeah. Made me think about fouling the. Uh... Oh wait, no. <laughs> Never mind. I was thinking the uh, the claw palm tackler there was the Norse guy. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a good player. Wait, yeah. they can't get claw. <laughs> oh, no, that's the blitzer, obviously. Not just the fucking lineman. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, could go for the troll here, but maybe it's better just to try and pick off a gobble even without my blow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can get, like, two gobos out all of the fouls on better players become more valuable with the bench whittling down yeah and more feasible as well isn't it like runs out of yeah. players to protect them and yeah things like that might be ah oh, yeah he's gone for he's gone for the troll yeah. yeah i mean the good thing though is like if you get the troll down right you get, or you get the troll out and you replace it with a goblin that's like that's not a fair trade. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, Tree's not happy about that, too. So, really, anything you can get off the pitch is really your only hope here whilst re retaining players on the pitch for, you know, your drive. Yeah. And that's great, Please. isn't it? Because that pushes, mm -hmm. pushes out him. So, it doesn't, doesn't give up the claw palm. The only yep. problem is, of course, uh, it's on the seven, so you haven't done anything. Whereas if you'd hit the. If you'd hit the lineman with Mighty Blow, you would have done, but you wouldn't have hurt a couple of so. Yeah, but I guess foul in on the troll here. Dirty Could do, yeah. Three in. assist foul, yeah. yeah, yeah Protects yeah. the ulf a bit. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah, not terrible. I mean, it's definitely happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no fixed skull on the troll, is there? So. Yep, instant fail. Uh, there we foul. go. Bribe gone instantly. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Nice inducement, wait, mate. Where'd you get it? <laughs> I fucking hate bribes, honestly. Yeah. But you know, there's there's many games where they do great, don't they? Because people just end up making loads of fouls and never get caught. I, it. I have a stunning, I have a stunning ability, and it's and it's strictly from from poor play. But I have a stunning ability to take a bribe and never be in a situation where I'm able to foul. <laughs> so I, so like, whereas whereas I I uh, I don't suffer the gym foul, you know, all that often because I don't end up doing it that often. Uh, <laughs> My hatred of bribes is that I always feel like I have a bribe on turn sixteen, and it's just why did I why did I think why didn't I just take uh, you know an extra apo or something at that case? Yeah, yeah. What's well, the thing, isn't it? Like the the bribe is basically banking on you getting lucky, and then yeah. it's like kind of snowballing that luck because of a lot of the games where you you're down and getting a bribe, but you know you're unlikely yeah. to be able to, yeah you're unlikely to be able yeah. to give up a positional aspect to get the fouls. Like, I, I think in this case, you know, Jahanian can feel pretty confident about always having, a, you know, someone to foul, uh, you know. But, like, if you were playing against a team that outstrength and outguarded you so so drastically, then, you know, like, what, like you're just not going to get the opportunity to foul that you're going to, that's going to pay for that 100k inducement. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't hate it for him here, but, like... Maybe one. I'm honestly one in an apo because if he loses players, he's just done, you know. <laughs> yeah. And he's definitely gonna lose players. Oh wow! Foul coming this way. Rowdy. Not a double two. <laughs> I mean that could have been really bad. Down two goblins. And yep. That was a very that was a very rowdy foul. Is the ball? Safe. Yeah, yeah. ball safe. Um, well, I guess maybe not right with a chain chaining. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't have been safe with chaining things, but um. Mm. Yeah, no. I mean, it is now, but yeah. Yeah, because it could have chained 
him and then could have chained him. Yeah, so it, maybe it wasn't safe. Yeah, but it potentially yeah, I don't, it wasn't certainly safe. wasn't safe before the foul, which could have been a problem. But yeah, yeah, yeah had that Tree been is playing been against safe. Norse. Nero. Yes, yeah, yeah, Juhanian has the Norse. There you go, everyone's, everyone said that already. <laughs> I don't think I've ever. I I I, I haven't I, I haven't seen a lot of trees play, but I I, I mostly have only seen tree play wood elves i think so underworld yes. is interesting as is yeah yeah it's weird isn't it because it's not like obviously it's not an edge team at all but it's also not really yeah. a bash team it's just a weird yeah it's a weird dumb try to high roll team i, I <laughs> fucking hate underworld <laughs> i know but like but like when you play i i don't know i mean you're obviously very different but like if i was playing as much blood bowl as someone who streams regularly like tree I would want to play teams like this too, or like Rick. I mean, Rick's the perfect example, right? Like, you have to be able to have fun playing Blood Bowl, and part of the reason you burn out is because you play the three teams that you know are reasonable for you to be playing. And good lord, when they're not when they're not working for you, <laughs> you have no options, you know. Yeah. So like, go being able to enjoy playing a dumb team like Underworld is there's nothing wrong with that at all. You just Oh, oh no, there's God. nothing. There's I, wish I, I wish I could. It's just, just different, know, just different people, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he's Yeah, yeah. I think he likes, uh, Chunter likes his rats, doesn't he? And uh, rats are already two, two variants you yeah. know, for me. And, and Underworld are like, you know, Oof. even worse because they're worse, they're worse than Skaven. Um, but more high rolling. Oh, wow. that was. Oh, <laughs> no. And a Cass. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I think we can write this one off. Yep, it's it's not over, but it's uh, nope. <laughs> it's troll scoring bad, threat. Isn't it? <laughs> Two fouls, nothing. Bribe used, self cas. Now the troll gets to hit as well, gets to claw yep. on one. Oh, it's just it's just a disaster. Yeah, it's it's awful. It's an absolute. Disaster. He can even hit. He can even hit. Um, he can hit the ulf into the the palmer too. To save the blitz, so you can palm with the other guy. Yeah, yeah, it could. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a and bit take risky. A little, take a little bit, yeah. It's a bit risky, but it is a claw mighty hit from the troll. Or, or you could, or you could block with a gobble. You could literally block the ulf with a gobble, and then blitz oh, one of these, and then yeah. troll could hit the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's probably actually much more likely here too. Yeah, might, 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 might go for that. Because that, I mean, that's where the ball is. So you're gonna want your players over there. Jahadian's got five players that might as well just stay on that sideline at this point. <laughs> yeah. Reverse oh, no, nothing. Yeah, not doing anything with that Palmer. No. Yeah, I mean, this is runaway times for Jahadian. I don't know. The thing is, he's only done one player. Depends what happens with the blitz, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I was assuming. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Here comes a dead all followed by a dead <laughs> lino. Because, like, because you know, goblins are really shit. You know, especially yeah. versus a team with loads of block. And he's got the wizard, so like, he might, Ooh. he might want to stick around and try. Well, he's not going to be able to protect from the foul on that player, though. Mm. Not easily. No, no, this is. This yeah, that's is... gonna be a that's gonna be a big foul, actually. Uh, oh yeah, there is another DP. Oh, there's two. Oh yeah, the the. Both DPs are still there. Yeah, yeah. So you could stand, you can stand here, stop this DP, but then obviously this gun just gets blitzed, so it doesn't really stop yep. the DP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna, he's gonna. But there, but there's another DP up there anyway that yeah. can. Uh... Oh, actually, yeah, because you can get the troll hit too. Yeah, but I mean, you're definitely gonna blitz this guy with a berserker, aren't you? Or the tackler, I yes. guess. Like you're yeah, 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 yeah. Tackler, tackler hits there. Gang foul the the palmer. Hitting up, yep. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. If he'd okay, gone, yeah, because uh, yeah. yeah, if he'd gone with a berserker, you could have hit that way, right? So you could have pushed him twice yep. out, and then you could have got an extra assist in for the foul. Is what yeah. I was thinking. Um, yeah, that's what I. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking too, actually. Not again. Uh, well, it's still morning for me, Alley Rider. So it was a fair question. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it's afternoon. It, it, there's, there'll obviously be some people it's not afternoon. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, 
it's morning for me. <laughs> for example. Troll hit. Yeah, Just a stun. a stun. And now for the big foul. Yeah, this could be. I mean, this 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 is also a thing that could ruin the run. You know, yeah. for for tree. Yeah. Oof. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like the the single point of failure kind of thing is is another big thing with Underworld, isn't it? They've got the two blitzers and and not much else, so like they're really fragile for the tournament as well as in the match. And it's, I just I just fucking hate them to be honest. <laughs> I did a solid eight hour shift on Call of Duty. <laughs> But yeah, some people, some people like Underworld, and, and that's obviously fair. I'm not judging the people who like Underworld. Just me personally, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't enjoy that the style. Not Is that the new one that just came out, Alley Rider? No, that's Modern Warfare, right? I don't know. It's still Call of Duty. I can't, I, I cannot tell those games apart anymore. They're all games that I can't play because I don't want to <laughs> constantly lose to an eight-year-old who's gonna call me the n-word or something yeah 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 it's call of duty modern warfare 2 uh, uh, okay yeah call, yeah COD. they're just using they're just using all of the same names they've already used so it's super mm. it's super confusing because someone said modern warfare 2 is coming out and i was like oh wow they really yeah, answered i was it? like didn't that come out like 10 years ago and my friend was like yeah those i mean he tried to explain the whole thing to me like in a discord chat and i was like i don't I don't actually care. All I care about is that you're playing that and not Total War with me, so <laughs> fuck right off. <laughs> love pretending to shoot people in the face. Yeah, I, I used to love Call of Duty when I when I when, when the original Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Two came out. I like you know I was queuing up to buy it from the store when it came out. Like those <laughs> were the days, playing on the Xbox and that. But uh, now it's just. Yeah. I'm too old. Yeah, I mean that was my thing. Is I, I, in my twenties, like Halo and all those like games where you could get a group of friends and go just pig pile in in battle royals and stuff was a blast. Yeah. I had a great time doing it. I just no longer enjoy it because I definitely do not have the twitch reflex to play games oh. like that. Like I did my, like I was never very good at them, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> I was no, I was never, never someone who would compete. I was always the team liability, but I'd have, but at least I had fun doing it, you know? Yeah. Uh, the F word, right, Jim? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but like now, it's just not fun to like, there's some, I remember I played the, the most recent Halo briefly, which was like free to play, and I'd like run, I'd like run around a corner and get sniped and be like, well, that wasn't fun mm. i don't i don't want to sit here and study the maps and watch videos to know where i can and can't poke my head out <laughs> and also even if i get the jump on someone i still happen to not kill them as quick as they kill me <laughs> well the funny thing for me is i was always i was always a console gamer so like you know mm -hmm. i played call of duty in the xbox Same. and, and yeah. now i'd have to transition to keyboard and mouse otherwise you get fucked don't you so i was like that always put me off but then I learned that the that the professional Call of Duty players do use controllers because it's actually better to use it because you know like the aim assist is so strong that for yeah. close combat like close quarters shootouts the 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 like uh, controller is actually superior. So I, I was like I was quite excited. I got quite excited at that point. Like maybe I could play it again. Mm. Um, yeah, then... I played uh, <laughs> I played the the new Halo on on a controller. I, I generally prefer playing first-person shooters on a controller but like sometimes mouse and keyboard like it just depends on the game sometimes you just feel more in control on mouse and keyboard hmm. but then what i see i had i used to always have it inverted uh, up and down <laughs> inverted and oh you're a psychopath okay yeah exactly and that's what everyone <laughs> said so i tried to play it i tried to play it not inverted and it, it's a nightmare so like that that put me off because i was i didn't want to be insulted yeah. you know i didn't want to be called a psychopath and then so i was <laughs> trying to be amazing guys i tried you to just I not really tell people <laughs> i really tried to uh to to do that and then i really struggled i really struggled to to play it uninverted Oh, look at you. You've got you've got Fan Fox in your corner. So that's how you know you're wrong. <laughs> there you go. Hello, Dimmy. <laughs> hey, Dimmy. Yeah. Oof. 
So there was an opportunity to go for the ball there, as, as Doug the Dog said, but instead Jahinian just choosing a gang foul with Blitzer again, which yeah. is fair enough. <laughs> this is, like, I feel like Jahanian has probably had more reasonable chances to remove someone and just not get it. Yeah. He's just getting... <laughs> I guess he's got two KOs, but, like, that's nothing. No, he's getting shot on. Because it, <laughs> he's, he's been fouling, like, the best player as yeah. well, hasn't he? And just done nothing and been sent off and okay, yeah. the apple worked, but it's... Yeah, but, like, this is one of those things where it's, like, you can't sit here and be like, oh, yeah, he's getting diced in this game because, like, the team disparity is so fucking great. You yeah. know, like like, a lot of the reasons that every hit you know you know tree makes is removing someone is because every hit tree makes is a claw might not the claw matters some but like uh is you know is a palm hit you know whereas <laughs> janian's just gotta kind of pray although his you know his dirty player fouls should be yielding a little bit more yeah yeah he's definitely he's de he's definitely had the worst of the luck and he definitely needed the better of the luck so <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh it's yeah yeah issue. timmy exactly exactly <laughs> Yes, that is true. That is true, yes. That was the biggest dicing. <laughs> oh, God, he's just stunned <laughs> continuously. He's got sent off twice for, like, about yep. four or five stuns. Yep. It's fucking and terrible. now the bribes are gone. Yeah. Now what do you fucking do? Yeah, D Ducky's completely alien to Ducky, this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually expecting one of those two to one of those two fouls to get eaten by so a bribe fail. Too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have been surprised if the like, bribe failed, and he's got two thirty percent to fail one of them, isn't he? Just side play more fucking yeah. rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Hey, Jesus red hair. Rats. Hello. <laughs> The glorious rats rant from Elliot. Oh wow! I thought he might have gone for another one day on the another one day on the troll the Kaz himself. <laughs> <laughs> that was really unlucky just... as well, wasn't it? He's he has had yeah. terrible luck this game. French kiss, fantastic. He's <laughs> <laughs> not not gonna foul anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <he's... laughs> at, at this point, I, I honestly at this point I'd keep fouling. Yeah, he's what else are you gonna two. do? What, yeah, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, he's get rid of one of the two. Palmers. Yeah. Worst case scenario. Be. Worst case scenario. Tree will spend the rest of her uh, playoff run swearing about her dead Palmer. Yeah. Yeah. It's how you win, isn't it? It's how you win. This game is just by getting lucky and and casting this guy in the next foul because if you don't, yeah. I mean, you're already yeah. fucked. So. Yeah. Because ultimately, you still have enough players to score in eight. I mean, may maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It's still it's still underworld, right? Like yeah. you're you might get you might get one off in the you know, in the two LOSs you're gonna get and you know, things could happen and yeah. then a coin a coin flip is all you need, so like kill the palmer. Yeah. Yep. But Correct. I can understand not wanting to foul without a bribe after every fucking bribe foul has been <laughs> gone to the ref anyway. Yeah. Got to stand these up here, Tree, because otherwise the uh, the whiz becomes an actual viable option. Ash for sure, yeah, for sure. A little, a little bit of a shame to whiz and not have a you know a response score, but yeah. But now it's now it's now that opportunity yeah. is gone. <laughs> yeah, I, I had actually forgotten about the whiz. So like again, that makes that makes it more likely that he can score an eight with few players might not be able to score an eight but maybe yeah, maybe he might get be able to get all the time himself. at one one he yeah. might be able to yeah. get all the time at one one but he needs he needs this to fucking work fine there well. we go there we players, go all of his players doing the foul six <laughs> yeah. so he's got ten max for the second half he's even got a square for a run up here come on oh baby doesn't run up well it deserves to fail yeah he does really yeah Rookie error. Rolls a double six, so he gets sent off. Yeah. KO, though. Three that cent. KO doesn't come come back for, th you know, oh, the three, guaranteed. four pluses. Yeah, I know. It's guaranteed to come back instantly. <laughs> oh, man. He is, it, this, is, this is getting to be dicing. But, yes, you know, is the point made by Demi diced himself by taking uh, such yep. a terrible Norse team. And also, he, he had to get lucky as well. And, and so it's... It's been a double whammy of hasn't got lucky and has got unlucky instead. 
hundred percent. I don't know if that block is worth it, to be honest. I guess you got to re-roll, but... Yeah, it's 1 in 12, 9, 6, isn't it? It's... It's... It's, it's probably worth it. But it wasn't even with the Palmer. You know, you know, it's just yeah. like... A little it's high rolling. I'm a 7, though, in it? Like, yeah, it, it is. Uh, it's, 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 it's a little high roll, but it's a 1 in 12, 9, 6 that it's the wrong play. It's the right play 1,295 times out of 1,296, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is pretty good odds. And yes, the claw pommer is, of course, but like, instantly. But, like, not looking at those odds, it's, like, one of the three things that could remaining still happen to lose trees. Exactly, again. yeah, exactly. You know, like, that's the thing. It's, like, yeah, it is, but, like, are those three points going to be, or two points going to be valuable on a... On a Kaz. You know, I didn't look at the player, obviously, but... Yeah. But also removing a player, because, like, there's a decent chance... With, like, jahanian has got the bibs. There's a decent chance he's got ten players for the second half. And with ten players, he can definitely score with a wizard. And then, you know, so, like... Th there was a certain amount of value in just making the Kaz for winning the game. Like, this this game is not over. Don't say it's over! <laughs> <laughs> Should have sniped with Puggy. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, how easy is it to remove a goblin? I mean, I know it's fucking impossible, but... <laughs> <laughs> Just got a message from Daedal says it's one million percent to come back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, generally, Steve, but obviously not this match, right? This match, the Norse didn't even have, like... Well, they have to roll... They have to high roll in terms of the TV difference, but versus, like... Elves and like lighter teams, they they can just win, kind of you know by being an armor seven bash team like versus Skaven, elves, underworld. <laughs> it's just versus like the heavy bash teams, you know like fucking orcs. They've just got to dice the pants off them. That's like the only way they can win. I mean, red hair. It's it's really not hard to kill a goblin. Just roll a fucking twenty. Be a <laughs> be a mensch and roll a twenty. How hard is that? Jesus. <laughs> Everyone else sucks at dice rolling. <laughs> I uh, I went on a crit spree in our first uh, game. Mm. <laughs> is that is With that fucking, is, is that possibly going to be streamed at some point? I I don't I don't think I don't think that's the intention. No. No, oh, sad. It was pretty. I think it would be entertaining content, but I I I don't have a, a ton of interest in streaming D and D. I feel like that would get in the way of playing the game. But mm. I don't know. Was it <laughs> you, you averaged my dice <laughs> again? I was a druid. I was a druid, but I was by far our, our most effective DPS. <laughs> I, I, like I think our most fun was the first one that wasn't streamed, but I don't yeah. know if it's because it wasn't streamed or if it's because the first one. Nah, it was new, and you you like you had never played before, right? Yeah. Like that was a new experience. You had a good yeah. group of people that you wanted to play with. Like that, yeah. that's pretty normal. I, I like. I'm sure my fun. first game of D and D that I played in my friend's basement in like 1993 or whatever was an absolute like. I would look back if I could watch a video of us playing and be like, "This is the worst game of D and D ever played," but I still remember it quite fondly as one of the best games I ever played in my life. Yeah, yeah. It's because people turned <laughs> up. Yeah, that is me, important. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. We'll, we'll, it'll never be as good as with anybody but Dimmy now, you know. That's 100%. No more Dimmy. Probably no more Kaz. Tragedy. Absolute tragedy. Gonna have to start re try, try and recruit somebody instead of in to replace Kaz. Here, here's uh, here, here you go. This is what you need to do to make five, five idiots happen uh, regularly, Jim. Oh god. Oh, is he playing it with stuffed toys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all I you need do. to do. It's all yes. you need to do. I can just use the JFW avatars, can't I? Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, Alley Rider. Oh no, Alley Rider understands community references. Now, me and j 5 secret language is a uh, compromise. <laughs> <laughs> just need to find someone who's available five Saturdays a year. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I've been trying to do forward rolls when I remember. <laughs> oh god. Did the did no the elf stayed out. So there you go. So so Jehanian's best player stayed out on two three plus rolls, whereas whereas Tree's claw bomber came back instantly on the four plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Yes, of course, of course, red hair. But you know, yeah. hope, unfortunately, Dimmy was both, and then but he just left out of frustration. Yeah. No, I, I totally understand Dim's Dim's reaction to that. Of course, like, yeah, of course. Yeah. I wouldn't. I you like. I don't know. Again, I have a very flexible schedule, so for me, it's both frustrating when other people like bail at the last minute on something, but also it doesn't really affect me that much. I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, I was I was originally not going to do anything today. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll play D&D. &D. And now I'm like, oh, I guess I'm not doing anything today. So, like, it doesn't bug me. But, like, when you have, like, fucking kids and, a, you know, a job that has an actual schedule and X, Y, and Z, like, yeah, that's annoying as shit. Yeah, <laughs> you only yeah. have so much free time to do fun things with. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Like, 100% on Dimmy's side with that, like, completely 100% understandable and everything. It's just, it's just a sad, it's just a sad state of, you know, it's just really sad that, you know, Dimmy's left as, like, the absolute, the best, mm. the best of us has left. Is <laughs> 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 it's, it's sad, isn't it? You know, it's interesting, Ali Ryder. I've, I, I, again, I, I'm pretty relatively old school by D, D standards today you know i started playing in the 90s pen and paper sitting in the basement like 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 you're supposed to do with the game <laughs> and so i've been very resistant especially when the pandemic hit to like joining a bunch of games online because it was like hard for me to get into uh but i'm also like I, I i have my own server in my basement so i like after red hair's game i taught myself foundry quite a bit and set up a foundry server now i'm like I want to run 50 games on it because I can do all sorts of cool shit now that I vaguely understand this program and how to make maps and do fun things with it. So, like, I, I, I'm kind of still on the fence. Like, I would prefer to have four people come to my house, have a nice, like, crockpot dinner, hang out for six hours on a Saturday and, and play D&D. But also, it's a lot easier to just get four people on onto Discord and play. Yeah. I mean, in theory, it is. In theory, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what we did in Dalo. Like, you know, there's there's myself, Wanger, um, and then two other friends, and like we, we we you know talk about having a Blood Bowl league, and then we realised even though you know like we all had teams and boards, it was just easier to play on Fumble. <laughs> you know, we're all the same, like you know, yeah, we all lived yeah. in the same town and like five minutes away from each other, yeah. and it was still just easier to play on Fumble. So we just did the league on Fumble. <laughs> I, I got to be completely honest with you. I was looking at Foundry and I was like, holy shit, you could run a game of Blood Bowl in Foundry, like, yeah. and it would be better than Fumble. Wow. Like, like it would take a ton of work to set it up, but you could 100% run a game of Blood Bowl on Foundry and have it look 10 times better than Fumble does. Wow. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> 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 that was like hundreds of hours of work to set up something to be able to do it and like in a limited capacity. It wouldn't have the... Uh, it, it wouldn't. I, I don't think it would have the availability that Fumble has for people all over the world to just log in and play. But you could definitely play a superior game of Blood Bowl on Foundry. Oh, oh I've, I've Google Foundry. It looks pretty fucking sick. It, it's the same. Do, weren't you guys using, or were you using Roll Twenty? We were using GIMP. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> These like just they're just virtual tabletops that kind of automate a lot of that process. The problem is the front end side of setting up the game in those is significant. So you need like a DM who's like techie and willing to do the work to get that running. But if you do that, you can like it's weird. Like you can, I mean, if you wanted to, you could automate it to the level of a video game. But that kind of defeats a lot of the purpose to me. Hmm. <laughs> You could DM. Yeah, true, 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 Dimmy. True, Dimmy. <laughs> Five yeah. hours of work a year. Yeah. Yep. Spend thirty hours setting up a game that never happens, and then you forget what you're supposed to do by the time the game happens. <laughs> oh dear. 
I mean, again, I run Foundry for free on my server now, Red Hair. So <laughs> we don't, we don't need, we don't need to pay a license. Oh, uh, the license, yeah, to buy Foundry. Yes, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because like Foundry, you can run it off your own PC without needing a server or anything. It's just fifty dollars for the, for the, actual license for Foundry, mm -hmm. and then like. If you want to do cool shit, you've got to be willing to buy people's Patreons, which I'm not. But um, <laughs> you can, like, if... Are we stalled out here? Oh, yeah, something's happened. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the uh, the replay might have froze. Yep, yep, yep. That's, uh, I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. Um, or maybe it's trees and that's gone. Oh yeah, no, tree's still streaming. Yeah, but it's it's locked on two seventeen, and there's like a there's a circle thing on mine, and everyone. Oh in the chat's yeah, like yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, it looks like tree crashed. Yeah, so maybe his tree's yeah. crashed. Yeah. No oh, man. Suspect it's uh, just a a router restart. This is one way for the Norse to get back in it, though, I guess. This is how the Norse win, yeah. This is literally <laughs> this is literally the best chance the Norse have to win this game, yeah. Well, I mean, in fairness, we've seen we've seen how uh seamless uh game crashes in big in big spots are. So uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like let's just look at the final from uh, last season. Nothing was spoiled about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Oh well the stream's finished now for Tree, so Yep. Yeah, yeah, now, now she's gone. She just dropped. So fingers crossed she can get back in. Oh, well, for her, fingers crossed she can get back in, obviously. Yeah. Jahanian, it's the only chance he's got to win. Um, yeah, doesn't, she hasn't even lo done the old login uh, to chat on the phone to be like, everything's fine. Yeah. Coming yeah. back. Mm. Victory by TK. Don't really like I mean, hell, that. just restarting restarting the game would be probably in Jahanian's favor at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's had he's had no luck, has he? Indeed, Sunbird. Indeed. Yeah, this is. This oh, is here we good. go. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it looks like the stream is starting back up. There we go. Back up and running. Ah, glorious! Right. Back to 50. Oh yeah, and this is back to forty-six. Yep. So yeah. Yep. Okay. We're dying to see something happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're good now. Trees, trees there moving we cursor go. and stuff. Brilliant. Yeah. I, I thought I still might have had to reload it. Like that's a thing. You're not sure, are you? With yeah. Well, too. they used to happen all the time when I was like co-streaming with you and i'd be watching in client is i would just freeze out and i wouldn't even realize it and like i wouldn't know that there was stuff happening and then i'd have to restart it happened like almost every game for a while it's weird, it was really it? weird fucking cyanide <laughs> yeah. well it does seem to have gone away i don't know i can't fathom that they fixed something though so. <laughs> no it just randomly fixed itself on it <laughs> <laughs> An another error somehow offset it so. <laughs> yeah yeah well it's like how whenever they try to fix a bug it makes loads more bugs doesn't it with things and obviously there's yeah. they just something happened and it randomly fixed it <laughs> one of their bugs gained sentience and and had some pride and was like i don't want to be this shitty yeah yeah because they sure as fuck didn't try it wouldn't try to fix it hello zander Oh, damn. <laughs> Pushing a goblin on three dice. Feels hey, bad. gets him on the second hit, though. Oh, yep. You know, give, give him some. It did, did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did absolutely nothing. Yeah, this is. This is. Absolutely. A shit game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, congrats to Tree, I guess, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Demi. Yeah, yeah, that was that was ridiculous, wasn't it? Does he f keep fouling here? I guess he doesn't have to I mean, because he used the guards. So. 
I, I think at this point, like your only chance is to have players for overtime and somehow get a, a score through with the wizard. So I think I think we're done fouling. Yeah, but is that? Do you even have a chance yeah. if you do that? That's the thing, right? Like maybe yeah. your only chance is to foul this goblin and yeah. it and then and then make two cars next turn. Like you know, you really get into absolute desperation stage. Could you? Yeah. Could you just imagine fouling yourself out on a goddamn goblin? Whether or not the <laughs> goblin went off too, with with two goblin on the bench, like I don't think I could do that. I'd rather foul the fucking troll at this point. Are we gonna get a troll dodge? No. <laughs> Troll dodge on the ball would have been glorious. Oh, that would have been asserting dominance. <laughs> it would have been, yeah. Do you mean the Space Hulk tactics, Timmy? You played that, didn't you? The Space Hulk tactics. They also did like a first person shooter Space Hulk game, didn't they? Which some people played. I am I am pretty looking forward to Dark Tide. I think that'll be fun for a few weeks. Yeah. I, I, I lose I lose focus on those games pretty quickly because it's kinda just the same thing over and over again. But uh but it, it's gonna look pretty and 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 be fun to slaughter chaos cultists for a few hours. Yeah, every everybody seems to like the the Ogryn in it. The oh hey, Kalon, don't watch the vod. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Space Hulk Tactics. I did. I didn't buy Space Hulk Tactics because I thought a nobody's gonna play it with me, and b. Um, it wasn't an exact replica of the tabletop because they had these. Uh, yeah. They had like some cards, and I thought, well, I can't imagine this is an improvement. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the the big thing about Space Hulk is it's like it's not replayable, really, is it? Because it's just like it's yep. just set scenarios, and and like obviously the AI is going to be terrible. So like, I, I feel like it would only be worth playing it versus another human. I, I I was never really into Space Hulk for kind of similar reasons. It was just like, it was uh, it, I, in my brain, it felt a lot kind of how you feel about Talisman, where it was just like, this is everything about this is a cool world that I'm interested in, but like the function of the game is very limited, and it's just kind of what you're gonna do. And then I'm like, if I was gonna invest the time to play to play Space Hulk, I'd rather just play Kill Team or 40k. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Nice lightning bolt, mate. Where'd you get it? I mean, I love Talisman. I think it's great, but I don't play it very frequently. I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't grind at it. But like, I think it's a good game. I always enjoyed Talisman. But like, in the same way that I always enjoyed Monopoly, I just very rarely play it. Yeah, I, th I think I think Talisman is objectively like a worse game. Do you know what I mean? Because just. Uh, but I mean, also, I've never played it in video game form, but, like, Talisman was like, I've got some friends over, we want a low-impact game to drink some beers and play, yes, you know, exactly. A so the experience game. may be great, right. like, in the same way as the experience yeah. of Necromunda was great, but it wasn't a great game, right? So I think... I think yeah, I mean, it's just a it's just it. a dice rolling board game. You know, yeah. there's no there's no real strategy to it. It's just yeah. it's fun and relaxing in a lot of ways. But like, I certainly wouldn't want to play it without a, 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 a several friends who are invested in fucking around all night. Yeah, it, but where Space Hulk is actually a game like the decisions matter and stuff. Yeah. Like whereas they just yeah, don't, yeah. there's no decisions in in Talisman. <laughs> Just literally, you you roll your dice and go left or right. right? Pick, oh yeah, you pick a direction to go. Yeah, I mean, but like, and that's... that can be a highly highly impactful on the game. But yeah, I but mean, it's I, it's I it's essentially automatic though, right? Like it's yeah. either like it's very rarely is it going to be oh is it this thing or this thing? It's mostly going to be one of these is yeah. shit and one isn't shit, or one is good and one isn't good. So it's just it almost automatic decisions. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, like, that's the thing, is, like, if you've got five people that want to come over, have a board game night, but not play, like, the complex board game where four of the people have to learn how to play it at all, and you spend two hours doing that, Talisman, fantastic game. Yeah. But I don't think I'd need to play it as the video game form. No. No, but, yeah, I mean, it, it, I can see it being fun, like, yeah, you know, with with a crew of people that, you know. Yeah. But, but again, it would just be for the banter and that rather than for the actual game. Yeah, Ar Arkham Horror was a fun game for similar things. I, again, I wouldn't want to play that game 
in any capacity that didn't involve just like a fun game night. But Arkham Horror is one of those games where you do have to spend significant time because there's always one person who uh, we're a, we're a one and nine away from a gaping hole here for the Norse. Yes, I I didn't like you know like if you're gonna set this up, then at least you know yeah there we go we're a one in three away actually from the gaping. Yeah. Hole. Did still didn't oh, yeah, plug tackle, the gaping yeah. hole. Yeah. Still didn't plug the gaping hole. Wow. There's actual Maybe. gaping hole. Like, is she treating that like trap space? I guess she can collapse on the four players that can save or safely get through. So yeah, but, oh, but you can just blitz through with the tackler too. Yeah, like you have to. A, I think you have yeah. to do more. If, you, if you're going to do the double banks of two, then you've got yeah. to do more to actually defend because otherwise, yeah. what's even the point? Yeah, there's an absolute full cage here yeah. in scoring range. Now, granted, you're probably not going to hold that till turn sixteen, but you know, yeah. crap space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is crap space, <laughs> not crap space. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Involves it involves powering a goblin here. Yeah, but like it's not a trap when it's his literal only chance. <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah, like you, yeah, thing. you've got almost a two to one player advantage of players that are relevant. Yeah, yeah you could cut that off, and then where are you at? Yeah, you know, exactly. Just yeah, a like, worse position. Like last turn, he was already desperate enough to bloody bolt somebody to try and get forward, and then he managed to make yeah. it weaker than last turn somehow after he wasted yeah. his bolt. So, I mean, oh, I, I, I you know, I didn't even notice the bolt go. <laughs> yeah, he rolled a one. He rolled a yeah. one. Oh, just shit. To, oh, okay. <laughs> just, okay. To, just to complete his, his absolutely awful dice. Yeah. I don't know if he needs... Uh, I guess the loose cage helps from getting completely collapsed down on, but... Yeah, that's only the thing a little, he wants. Only a little. Yeah, but he, he needs every every little thing he can get. Because this is... This is pretty diabolical. Good dodge there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there will be a big... A big squeeze now. Yeah, he's probably... If he's going to score at all, he's scoring next turn or the turn after at best. Yeah. And... Correct. I should not have too many issues scoring, but again, it's Underworld, and, you know, kickoff results are a thing. Mm. Man, imagine if he hadn't used the wizard. Like, I didn't think it was a great wizard, because yeah. I didn't think it was... You know, he could have st stood where he was for another turn, which he did, and it, was, so it wasn't that bad that he didn't get through, so... Yeah. I, I mean, it's, hind it's hindsight now, knowing that the wizard didn't happen... And he still had that space. He doesn't uh, like. I would not have predicted getting a hole into the middle of the field for a full no, cage. No, no, neither would I. But I also didn't think it was that bad to have to bust through that turn. You know, like I would have still, I would just had. I would, I would have got in range and scored that turn. You know, rather than yeah. using it to get into range, I would have. I would have tried to get into range and then use the whiz to actually score in a turn. Yeah. But you know. By using it sooner, then you might cas him as well, which is good, isn't it? Like, casing, mm. casing somebody is good. That's my Rick lesson that I learned. Well, this is a... Uh... Let's through and score, I guess, right? Yeah. Is yeah. it a 1D on a wrestler is the best way? <laughs> Yeah, you've got you can one D one D the no you can two D that gobble because he's got yeah, assist. Yeah, 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 yeah so that that gives yeah. you somebody yeah. free so now you can blitz and block and all sorts of things. Yeah, so now he can he can uh, he's got to get some pows to not have to also dodge, but yeah, two D and two D. Maybe you put the guard in there to, to cancel that assist and then just do the 1D here and then do the 2D blitz. Mm. I think I like trying to pow, uh, like just push the goblin and then pow the wrestler. No, this is... Oh, so this is going to involve a dodge. Yeah. Um, oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, no, it is. Yeah, it, it is a to, dodge. Yeah, but yeah it has if to he... Be a dodge. If he'd done the Assuming power he's, on the first. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, hello, PC. Thank you very much for the raid. Absolutely glorious. No play now. There is no play now. We have <laughs> scheduled. There is, it's now too late for play now equity. Um, when did you schedule for? Uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC. This Wednesday or next Wednesday? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, <laughs> of course. <Dickhead. laughs> Want to finish 33rd, don't I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> and there's the forced score. I mean, hey, Jehanian Juhan- has a chance. Not much yeah. of one, but a chance. Yeah, he's has got the leveled it. If, if there's any way for him to get to overtime, it's probably going to be off the kickoff here. Yeah. Three six nine. He's got nine players. Versus. It's three six eight, Jim. Three six eight, not three six nine. Three six nine. Three six eight oh, nine. Possibly. It's three five eight, not three six eight. Uh, oh, my god, eight. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Oh my god! Oh, everyone! Everyone forget the last thirty seconds. No one remember the last thirty seconds. <laughs> I tried to force the joke and it backfired pretty badly. <laughs> yeah, he's the wizard. And, like, you know, he got really unlucky on the wizard. And it's, yeah, as Skuro said, it's easy to say with hindsight it was a bad wizard. But I still didn't like it because I feel like, you know, if you're going to score, then then you need the wizard anyway to hang on, right? Or, or to win in overtime. So, like, I just felt like the. The only way you win is getting lucky enough to score with, and keep the wizard for later. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I think I would have tried to keep it for later. You know, even even not knowing it would fail. <laughs> and he would get an unbelievable opportunity to go at the middle of the next turn. <laughs> the only yeah. time Skuro played good football. Yeah, three three four. season three seasons of SFL is like four years of human time. So yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Thank you very much. Yeah. What we what week are we on in SFL? That's a good question. Ten or eleven? <laughs> oh, no, but like actually twenty, right? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Week t- week we're in week twenty four now, and uh, there's people who've only played ten games. <laughs> Honestly, uh, every other week that's not even that bad. Yeah. <laughs> like... yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like the modern world, it's a rat race. Everyone's so quick to get everything done. Why savor it? Just savor good blood bowl, right? When yeah. you have it. Yeah, and Nassaville is the very best of the Blood Bowls. It sure is. <laughs> uh oh. Poor Ulf about to get removed again. <laughs> he gets back on the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, J5 and I have been the most eager to get our games played, haven't we, from the. Uh... Yep. I've been pretty good, but uh, I had a few lapses. Yeah. I I had uh, I had uh, sat at getting COVID. That's that's what got me most of my delay. <laughs> I mean, me getting COVID is the only the only blemish on my season. Yeah, yeah, that got you the concession loss as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I why would I thank you for that? That would have been a surefire victory for me in the finals if he could have made it. <laughs> and Calcium has literally quit SFL after every loss Calcium has had in SFL. He'll be back next season. And I'm the reason he'll be back next season. I'll just chide him into playing again. It's pretty easy. You think I you think I talk shit about Calcium's uh, one uh, one failing to me because I because I care about the victory? No, it's because I want Calcium to keep playing SFL. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you for the raid, Paravel, and uh, I will. We'll, we'll no, no spoilers, please. We'll do. We'll do your match after the uh, after this one. But uh, it, you know, it's Proils versus Halflings, so <laughs> 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 you can you can <laughs> you can guess yourselves as to whether the Proils have beaten the Halflings. But you know, Dara is good at Blood Bowl, so you'll have certainly tried. <laughs> you'll have certainly tried. You'll have, like you know. Have, it's not a walkover, is it? It's not a walkover. Like it's, it, you know, although, although we, although we like to joke about it, obviously anything can happen. It's a game of blood bowl. Blah blah, fucking blah. But <laughs> <laughs> chances are, it's yeah. it's it's a win for the Proils, isn't it? Like they're very favoured. <laughs> Zond will never win Chalice. That that is true. Yeah. Even Zons would have been favoured against f- favoured against flings. 
Not a lot of penetration here thus far, and not blitzing with... I mean, got the horns to blitz with. Yeah, fling game is a banana peel, but, like, you know, everything's a banana peel, isn't it? Like, you'd rather, you'd rather face a banana than uh, Tyson Fury, wouldn't you? <laughs> you can just walk past the banana. It's, it's, not, it's not that dangerous a matchup. But, you know, anyone can lose to them. Especially, like, you know, and Dara is really good at Blood Bowl, so... Not as easy as you'd think, but also very easy. <laughs> Choking ball. Except the cage bananas, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the old cage bananas. <laughs> Some battles versus bananas. God. <laughs> Garo Breen, uh, my favorite current uh, Taskmaster competitor uh, from this season. He's fantastic. Good comedian, too. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, favorite yeah. Irishman? I mean, it might, might be up there if I, did, if I didn't know Ka Kalon. <laughs> Eliod, Eliod fought a giant chicken because it was, it was the thing of, it, it was, do you want, would you rather fight a hundred chicken sized horses or one horse sized chicken? And I think it's obvious that you'd rather fight the chicken sized horses. Horses are a very timid animal, aren't they? And if they were very small, I feel like it would be rather easy to defeat them, whereas a, chick a horse sized chicken would be like a fucking gigantic velociraptor. It'd be terrifying, wouldn't it? <laughs> It'd be actually fucking terrifying. <laughs> so there you go. The talons would be like horrific. Basically, just there. Yeah. I mean, the thing is chickens like like are we reprogramming their brains to be aggressive because like a horse-sized chicken glorious. wouldn't really fight back no, I won't give <laughs> I don't know, they have you can literally you grab know, just victorious. you can just grab a chicken and, and break its defend. neck it won't stop you I will <laughs> and, and and their How bones are, you are doing, all Jimmy? This, so, you know mm, fair enough then Hello, Rory. A horse, a, a horse, a uh, a chicken-sized horse is it still has its bitey bits and its kicky bits at crotch level I don't know, they're pretty small, aren't they? I don't think they'd be at crotch level. <laughs> That's a big fucking chicken. Okay, some of us aren't very tall, Jim. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Skuro three foot tall confirmed. <laughs> Have we uh, frozen fucking, again? Fucking crotch level chickens, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, how low is yeah fucking screw with like a two foot knob <laughs> one of those two options. We've already covered this. Two inches and shaped like a can of tuna. <laughs> oh god. Oh trees lost connection again here, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh I'll tell you it wasn't lost God connection. help God help the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, no, it is a disaster, isn't it? Uh thank you, Raw Rimbo, for staying fantastic for thirty nine glorious months and I'm doing okay. Thank Thank you very, very much. Absolutely glorious. Um, there you go. Dogs, dogs are not 15 pounds if they're called dogs. That's a cat. <laughs> um, I can't take 100. Yeah, it depends. Like how concerted. Like that's the thing. How vicious is everything, right? If the hundred, if the hundred horses are all like concertedly trying to kill you, then a hundred of them would be a yeah. lot, wouldn't it? To be fair. But, um, yeah, a hundred of a hundred of anything half your size is probably going to overwhelm you if it's aggressive. Again, a chicken isn't half my size. <laughs> You're like this would be like a fucking big turkey. <laughs> it would have to be a really big turkey to be half it. Like yeah, you know, I guess I am. I actually, in fairness, small. in in fairness, I have been visualizing that as wild turkeys, <laughs> not not 
chickens. Yeah, yeah, chickens are pretty small. I'm five eight and not that small. <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight, but not that much. <laughs> a chicken. Down, down, down about eighty pounds this morning now since August. Pretty nice. Good. Well done. Pretty, pretty sure I'm gonna be calling you fat soon, Jim. Yeah. Oh, what now? Well, I've lost a bit as well, to be fair. Yeah. So, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose more though, I'm, I'm going to be 100% determined from now on. I'm going to stay at my 60% determined. 100% mm. dedication from now <laughs> on. Yeah, well any size guy, a current size goose would fuck you up. Yeah. Dude, those things, we have we have a bunch of Canadian geese that hang out at a pond that I walk my dogs at. My dogs aren't really interested in hunting them. Of all the animals that they want to try and hunt and kill, they don't really give a shit about the geese, but the geese hiss at them, and that's like three full-size coyotes that they're just staring down and being like, try something, motherfucker. <laughs> like, completely fearless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. No, I started to do actually sick. I actually started to do so there you go. Well done, Sandwich. Geese are evil fuckers. I mean, yeah, if it was fucking life or death battle, obviously I'm gonna win, but I'm not gonna like try to murder a goose even if it's trying to bite me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to injure me and I'm gonna do what I can to not injure it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nobody, nobody like sees a goose charging at them and think, right, let's go, motherfucker, to there. Like, if, <laughs> if, a 14, if a 14 year old started attacking me on the street, it's never a fight I could lose, but I'm not going to fucking hit the kid, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just going to try to be like, try to just, you know, like disarm the situation. So I'm definitely going to come away more injured than the kid. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, this is looking like a full uh, a gaping hole here. Of course, not too many players yeah. on the field for Johanian, but... Yeah, it's a little different. He could have got another guy stood here, doesn't he? You know, like, maybe he could yeah. have had another guy stood... Like, this one here could have maybe been here. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly how you know that, I'm sure, too. <laughs> No, I, I literally just said I wouldn't do that, PC. I think you're just inviting me to come get my ass kicked by some asshole in, in fucking London. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, you could definitely lose a fight to a 14-year-old. But, like, yeah, not a 10-year-old. A 10-year-old yeah. you could never lose a fight to. Um, but also you would not battle. Oh, I see. I see you? the point. I see the point. I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. I just pulled an age out of my ass. But yeah. I, I, I tend to bet on myself over, against most 14-year-olds. <laughs> Yeah, and what four, 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 fifteen-year-olds? Yeah, you, you, you're looking at death against four fifteen-year-olds, aren't you? In fact, so there you go. Yeah, I mean, like if I mean, if you're outnumbered in a fight, you're generally fucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as much as as much as like you know Jackie Chan movies would would lead you to believe that it's easy to manage a crowd of people that chooses to fight you one at a time, that's not <laughs> how it's gonna work in a real situation. Yeah. And also, I live in America, so they're probably armed, and I'm definitely not. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah. They could just have. Yeah. They could just have a gun in America, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. In 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 London, they're likely to have a knife. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 And honestly, like in some ways, a, ni a knife, a, you know, maybe not in America, but a knife would scare me more because you're more willing to use a knife than a gun. A gun's kind of zero sum, you know? Yeah. yeah like you're not necessarily going to kill someone with a knife and it's easier to prevent killing your someone with a knife, but it's still pretty fucking awful to be stabbed or slashed. Yeah. 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 Fair. Yeah, I think twelve to thirteen is like there's there's definitely fourteen year olds that would that would win fights yeah, against grown ups. But like, but on but on average, yeah, on average, I, I think yeah. if you're taking the average, no, I yeah. mean fourteen is is you know not even like fully pubescent for a lot of kids, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's been looking good for Tree for about an hour and a half. The biggest drama has been the two crashes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I read that yeah. wrong. I read that wrong. And yeah, I thought... but 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 Kalon, but Kalon in Ireland, you could just be like, you, you know, you could just be like, hey Mickey, and then they'd get confused as to which one you were talking to, and they'd all be like, would you mean me or do you mean me? And then you could run away. That'd be fine. What you what use is a flashlight going to be? Sagittarius. <laughs> just hope it distracts them. <laughs> PC, well played, well played, sir. Well played, sir. I think I think I could take more than half of of all fourteen year olds, but not but but not by much. I'll give you that. And also, again, I'm I am a pacifist. I'm not fighting any of them. But <laughs> no, the best the best strategy in a fight is to just instantly make yourself fully erect and never break eye contact. No one's fighting you. No one's fighting you. If you just if you just like stare them down and get fully erect, they are running. I promise you. <laughs> oh god, right. Is there oh, there's just a blitz and then a and then a score. It's automatic. Well it's not automatic, there's a one in twelve nine six. Yeah, shitting yourself works too, but I think I think the erection is a lot less uh, self uh <laughs> self-destructive <laughs> then you can utilize the high-powered flashlight as well <laughs> well hello everyone <laughs> we're we're in the filling space time of a uh, blowout game here <laughs> what's that tickling my shin just scared off of me. <laughs> i'm not that short i'm average height We've, you've already said you've already said chickens come up to your crotch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say fourteen-year-old. That was earlier. That was a different topic. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think we've lost Jim. <laughs> Hey, look at that. Yep, yep, what a surprise. Oh, God. <laughs> what the <laughs> action and a flashlight strategy work against the giant chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, well, there you go. There's, there's Skuro self defense strategies. That's it. That's a great, what a great cast. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations, Trey. Commiserations, Jahanian. Wasn't much of a match, was it? He got, he got dies. Like Jahanian had to get super lucky to to get yeah. to, to have a chance, and he didn't get super lucky at all. So um, he had the worst dice, and which meant he was absolutely shit creek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh everyone, everyone that just came from Tree's stream because <laughs> she crashed. Apologies, <laughs> you didn't know what you were signing up for. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for that, but uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, um, unfortunately, unfortunately, it was a Norse team that was struggling uh, before the game started, let alone during the game, so we had to uh, <clears throat> fill time. Yes, yeah, there wasn't there wasn't really much of a game, was there? So there you go. <laughs> right, uh, thank you very much, Squirrel. Oh, glorious having you on and hearing your hearing your self defense tips. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. You have to get a, you have to get creative when you're an unarmed American. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>